I know that ain't think it was over with. <laughs> Fuck, I, be, that my big cousin, my role model. But that dude tell the truth, I be stuck in the bottle trying to get her take some. That was mine. I got you. True's ups, what's going on, man? They got some shit going on up here. Good people of America. Uh, this is true results. Let's chop it up about this uh, this list of names right quick. Because the feds, the old feds, they gotta be on top of this business. Now, if we're gonna begin with trying to get a little understanding about this CD, I'm assuming that means codependent, right, people? Correct me if I'm wrong. But let's just assume for conversational purposes. That CD means codependent. And see what we can read out this little snippet. CD. I see memes stated the money was good at the beginning. Say that there was a hit on everyone. And memes. Memes stated that the money was good. The CD understood that the money would be for those indicated I guess according to the CD the following was the list and bounties I'm assuming this paperwork came out somebody's uh, discovery pack but that just me though a hundred thousand for Adolf Thornton aka Young Dolph the big dog fifty thousand for Marquis Kathy aka Keyglock Fifty thousand for Tamaris Baker, aka P R E Wu. Five thousand for Zakelius Davenport, aka Moochie Gray. Twenty thousand for Snoop Bands. Unknown name at this time. People had told me, true. You think the feds don't know? Uh. Or the state don't know, and the feds don't know who Snoop Man real name is. That should be a eagle, a eagle, a easy Google search, and they spelled Snoop wrong anyway. But uh, let's get back to the list. I see they got an arrow pointed at five thousand for Big Moochie Great. Why such a low, low price on Big Moochie Great? And they ain't, where, where, who, who compiled this list and what made these? five people we know though what made I mean cause it was a lot of PRE members I mean shit if I was to make a list I'd be going after the one that loved though the most that's blood related I ain't saying y'all know what I'm saying I'm just saying they compiled a list to get rid of the the PRE why it's not um and y'all know what I'm saying I'm glad everybody Shit, look what happened to the flipper man. Everybody else still breathing, but y'all know what I'm saying. I ain't wishing nothing on nobody, of course. Just trying to make sure, because you know how people twist up your words that I'm just saying. I would have, uh, let's just step into the minds of the, the other side right quick so we can have this conversation. If I was uh, the one that been dropping bags on all these PRE artists, and I want the biggest bounty on Dolph Head. I would have a, I would have the same uh, price on his right hand man, Daddy O2, right? That would have been a top two. Because motherfuckers gonna want some revenge uh, about the about uh yeah, the the boss, the underboss, or whatever you wanna call it. Just like just like God in Jill. If I take out one, I'ma take out the other one. In the mafia world, you know, they, they'll, they'll take out the little son because they say he might grow up seeking re revenge. You know, that's in the mafia movies I have watched. But uh, uh, Daddy O9 should have been out here. Uh, what's, what's, damn it, what's his cousin now? Damn, y'all know who I'm talking about. Dolph Cousin rapper. Uh, the one I always repping, always repping Dolph. Uh, it slips my mind right now because it's probably 7 30 in the morning. But his name would have been on there. Uh, 
and that's what that would be my my list right there to take out the rim. So I find that kind of strange. But five thousand dollars from Mucci Gray, I can't figure that out. I don't think I can come up with it. That damn, we can just take his chains and stuff. We we done robbed him two times. So if you see him, just uh, get you some gas money or something. He's not that important. We stay getting him anyway. We are gonna leave him up. <laughs> Yeah, his jury worth more than, yeah, okay, he paid for his own hit, something like that. And that's not even funny. Uh, P.R.E. Paper Route Woo, Key Glock, Young Dog. Key Glock, they, they could have easily got killed. They could have, man. What about, what this list was when, uh, y'all remember when, when, when we spotted, now this happened like three times, right? I remember when we spotted. CMG on one side, I'm talking about less than 100 feet apart, and PRE on the other side after Doc died at the damn basketball game. Memphis State, Memphis State. I mean, uh, I know what I'm talking about. The damn basketball game. We didn't call them three times like they came together after Doc demise sitting apart. And ain't nothing happened all three of them times. What's up with that? They could have if, if if this if these banners was being out according to Cornelia Smith, oh uh, shit, Govan um been before before I seen Juke, Govan been the one out here spreading the word around that CMG had a hit out on anybody from paper rap. So I'm curious to see how long this hit been. I mean, this this been compiled. And uh, OG Giddy said that he got all the paperwork that's going to expose a whole lot of shit. So uh, we'll be keeping our eyes open for that because he said he got it. The people's champ. And uh, what's in it is going to blow y'all mind. So uh, y'all know true on top of it. And so I'm just waiting on I'm giving it to do this, do this thing so I can bring it to y'all. Because the fans got to be paying attention. So, here we go again. Here we go again. This thing is going, it's not going to end until Big Head uh, either escapes or goes down. And that's, that's the only thing going to satisfy appetite. And I'm just curious to see, uh, since he popping out, He's stepping out, smiling, dabbing up Boosie Boo. At this point, at this time, something is going on behind the scenes, and the feds probably know exactly what it is. So I don't know what they got going on, but we got all eyes on on their ass. So y'all, let me know what y'all think about that. Uh, Rilo, keep your eyes open, bro. They, they to me, like this is my personal opinion. Uh, they trying to conspire to get you out the way. Because they know you um, backed up, and they know you working with some chains, and they know you can stand on your own two feet. And uh, I think they're trying to conspire to get you out the way because the last thing they need, they don't even like us, uh, True doing what he do for all these three years. They done tried, they done tried me too. But you out there, and uh, you know the feds been watching you as they watching the whole hip hop industry. And these are type, these are type of people, big head, Jay Z, and all them. These are the kind of people that they chose, selected, to get their job done, to get rid of anybody that's 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 anti-industry. You say you want to be independent, you, you want to keep all the money, and you've been doing it. Well, that time is up. Social media, they trying to control it. They don't want y'all to be bosses, and they trying to get but specifically for you they know you riding hard for Dolph they don't like that now I'm curious to see since I said that and this is from the ATL now I put everything together they trying to they say they already got the system in place with the connect music group the second CMG y'all listen to me very closely they're building up in Orange Mound where this shit began at a high tech facility like like no other got rooms i'm talking about you can live there something like a motel with high-tech studios and restaurants and shit like his own community uh bank or 
in, in Orange Mound right now for this new, uh, the new ATL is what they're trying to make Memphis. So Dobby had to go out of the way, out the way for that anyway. Now, if they say Big Juke is the one uh, put the hit out on PRE, that just means this shit had to come from the boss because he's not considered the underboss. Now, the boss would tell the underboss this is what's got to be done. Because we boss, I'm working with the other five crime families, Jay Z, and uh, and all of that, Diddy, and all of that. I'm working with the other five bosses, uh, and this is what got to be done. Because yeah, yeah, it ain't big enough. He's not a part of our future. He wanted to teach independence. We try and control the industry. So this is what's got to be done, and uh, we all got something on it. And that's another point I wanted to make. Cornelius slipped up and said, now nah, he didn't slip up, he just straight up said, they put money on everybody. He didn't say joke, because that would be singular. He said, he said they all put money on everybody. Here. And we were just trying to catch anybody. We didn't know we were going to catch Dolph. And he said they. And so that's that goes in line with God it had to know to tell Juke what to do because it's coming down from the from the powers that be. The other five families that we're talking in mafia terms. So he told the underboss what to do and the underboss got it done. The boss always stay, uh, the boss always stay, you know, like a filter. <clears throat> so that would be my take on that. Now, whether the feds are actively or inactively in on this shit. One thing I do know, and my gut tells me, is that the feds have always been watching everything go down. They orchestrate it sometimes. They let it happen. They confidential informants be able to hear the do. They be able to to do anything that they want to do out here if they a CI. If they working for the feds, now they get they able to continue their little criminal organization. Uh, kill, sell drugs and everything and the feds will let them get away with all of that just to get a bigger fish, just to get somebody out the way. Now eventually they gonna get spit back out because once you start working for the feds, ain't no going nowhere from what I heard and I done seen shit. Look what happened to white boy Rick if y'all know this story. Look what happened to a lot of them. Uh, they can never get out. It's, it's forever even when they want to. And that's my take on that. That the feds got to be paying attention. The only thing I can see is uh, if, if he never goes down, that big head that is, then this shit was, this shit, this shit was sanctioned. Uh, meant to work like this. And maybe that's why Straight Drop took it to the dope. Because maybe they got, because you see he made an ominous post right after the trial. Right after he got sentenced to life. He said he refused to eat the cheese, take the cheese, and uh, that's kind of cocky, but same way they put these billboards up in Manhattan, that shit costs a lot of money, and we already know New York, New York, big city is dream, that's where Jigga from, so if they did that for some reason, so there's some shit going on still, and we ain't finished, and I don't know, it's going to take a, it's going to take unity uh, to make it to the next level after, after November 15th with uh, Cornelius please guilty or whatever he got in October 9th with Govan talking about he gonna get time third he ready to do interviews from what I heard that's gonna be the end of the state case and it's all up to the feds now either they in on the shit or they not and if they not well they done picked up more people related connected to the streets in Memphis and in Atlanta but that's what I was saying. That's what I'm finna say. I'm gonna slip my mind about the ATA Rallo. I know I'm, I'm not flip flopping, but you know, that's how I talk. Rallo, um, Gucci man, right? Now Rallo, they trying to get him out the way because he he just riding hard for the flipper man, going straight. He got out of jail, jumping at. Yeah, tell CMG what's up. I ain't never working with y'all. Dog with my boy and my partner. I feel just like true result. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no future. Uh, but no kind of collab or none of that. We got out of jail. Out the feds. Uh, by the way, talking that. 
Now, Gucci Man, after Dolph died, you know, we know you and Dolph was straight before he died, but you from ATL too. Now, you did make a little tribute song, but now you see what they doing? Cause I know you, I know you paying attention to this, this, um, this worldwide chessboard, and uh, you already solidified. Uh, so you know, we see what's happening. You came here recruited. Now I ain't saying that. I'm just putting it on your mind, cause we ain't forgot that all your artists uh, be unalive. You came here and, and signed up all these Memphis artists, and 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 they not no longer here. What's up with that? Let me find out that you was in on the, the whole play from the get go for this uh because maybe they threatened you to, to get you out the way. You never, we never know what's going on behind the scene. Now, I ain't saying that's what Gucci Mane did. I'm just saying this shit don't look right if it's coming out the ATL and you just came down here, signed artists and everybody dead or in jail. What's going on with that? Are y'all making room? Yep. The new ATL, Memphis and the new ATL, okay then, everybody plays a role. But we not gonna start this speculation no more. We just having conversation. And um, yeah, uh, shout out to my people that I always be riding for True. Joe was riding through the city and took a, a video and uh, like True, there's something going on up here in Makita, man. All right, like, she, I ain't get it till the next day because I was busy. That's why you ain't seen me make a video yesterday. Sometimes you just got to handle your personal life business. Sometimes it's okay. But yeah, found that I think that was to do in the elite chopper video shoot or something like that. But good looking, bro. Everybody, I appreciate everybody the way they be uh, keeping their eyes open and, and, and watching True Bet. And this, this is one of my guys from inside the city. So I appreciate the salute to you. Uh, so and that's that, y'all. So, nah, that ain't, you know, people like, get yeah, somebody else got it. Talking about the feds, you know, speculation, bullshit. So, I think that's a dude in LA Chopper video shoot or some shit like that in front of the kids. Everybody trying to clout chase. Only well, had to go shoot a video. It went off. Man, come on, bro. Yeah, Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, subscribe. I will support. There's a few people names I would have called out right now, but I'll get you on the, in the uh, beginning of the next video. And I got something, or at least I'm thinking of something that I really got to do right now for all the people that donate to me. Uh, I'm thinking of something. As a matter of fact, I'm in collaboration with, with some partners, getting some ideas of how can I hook, connect all of us up, basically which platform I want, because I got another channel on, on YouTube, uh, yeah, so so that we can all meet and uh, put some money back and, you know, give back to y'all, let y'all know I appreciate y'all, so I've been saying that for a minute, uh, we getting it together right now, uh, trust me, that is for real, so that's for the people that have donated and, uh, you know, held me down, I appreciate y'all, so we trying to get that uh, done right now, so, you know, in a minute. Uh, stay blessed, stay true, stay safe. Um, if you wish to donate to the channel, cash out will be dollar sign true result number two. And I'm gonna holler at y'all later. True. True results. What's going on, man? They got some shit going on up here.